Hey guys, welcome back to Home Built. Today I am going to try and get the inside of the rest of the parts painted up in the color on the 680. Let's get into it. Okay, so today's plan, as I told you earlier about the, uh, the paint type of this 680, because it is a three layer paint, you can't just paint a panel individually. So to get, make sure the paint has gone everywhere, inside, behind the back of the guards, uh, and um, the underside of the bonnet, and all the extra bits, I need to make sure that I paint them all separately, and then I can reassemble the car and paint the entire outside of the car in one stage. So today's job is to start prepping up all of those inside bits and get them ready for paint. So that was a massive game of Tetris, trying to get everything in and everything to sit uh, so I can get around it and paint it all. In the end, uh, this is, I couldn't get the bonnet in. It was just gonna be too crammed and I would have messed things up. It's better to uh, do it once and do it properly, or in my case, it'd probably be three times. But in any case, I'm gonna try and do it, do it well. So uh, now it's time to clean everything up and um, then I'll have to start mixing up some paint.
All right, the paint's mixed up, it's in the gun, ready to go. Everything is cleaned up in there. I've wet the floor down. Time to put some paint on some bits. All right, and I am pretty happy with that. These are actually looking quite nice. No real noticeable runs or anything. It's, um, yeah, it's looking pretty decent. So that's a win. If I take my time, I can actually do a half decent job. <laughs> I just shouldn't rush it like I usually do. So this is all looking fantastic and um, that's, Definitely uh, all I have time for today, so that means it's time for Fun Facts with Mrs. Jeff. Hey guys, the 1982 Bathurst 1000 saw a class win for the Nissan Bluebird Turbo, coming in eighth place outright. 1982 was also the first year of a hat trick for Peter Brock and another Aussie race legend, Larry Perkins, in a VHSS Commodore. Interestingly, Larry Perkins had a brief Formula One racing career in the mid-70s before moving back to Australia to spend his time racing touring cars. Now they won again in 83 and 84 in a VK Commodore. 1984 saw the introduction of Group A cars to the race. A Group A was an international formula which allowed cars to run more aero, stripped back interiors and larger tyres. Despite being more pure race cars, they were not allowed the performance modifications of the Group C cars, so they were much slower. All right, I glossed over a lot of the sanding today because it was just going to be another really boring episode, so this one's probably pretty short, but uh, I'm really happy with the progress. We've got all the inside bits done, except for inside the bonnet, but there's a few other little bits and pieces I need to paint anyway. Uh, I know I've got to do the bonnet hinges, and I'm sure there's bits I've missed. But you've seen it most of it on your face, so... Probably. <laughs> but in any case, um, it's, it's really coming together. We're getting close to being able to paint the outside of the car and having the painting done. I'm really starting to get sick of sanding, so that cannot come soon enough. Everybody's sick of you, so I do. <laughs> anyway. All right, guys. I uh, hope you're enjoying the channel. Um, thank you for subscribing if you have, and if you're new to the channel, we'd love your subscription. Yep. And, um, uh, you please can follow us on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram. That's the Obviously one. on YouTube. I'm sorry. I'm tired. I don't know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. I will see you next week. All right. See you guys. Okay. Let's win for the Nissan Bluebird 1000 coming in eighth place. For the Nissan Bluebird Turbo coming in eighth place. <laughs> and the VHSS Commodore. <laughs> All right. Let me do it again. All right. 1982. <laughs> I don't want to do it anymore. Yes.